Hey, how's it going? So having a problem with the Royal Enfield, it's not starting. So the plan is to replace the battery. At least I hope the battery is the issue. Uh, I've checked the other things. I've checked the fuses. I've replaced the relays and all the common problems that these Royal Enfields tend to have when you have starting issues. So I've gone and bought this new NOCO Lithium NLP14 battery. And this thing supposedly has insane performance, two times the power, 10 times more starts, five times longer life. And the reason why I know that is that's just what it says in the box. So what I'm gonna do is do the installation so we can go through the process and see how that is done. And then also talk a little bit about why I got the lithium battery versus just another stock battery. Okay, so obviously the first thing gonna need to do is take off the side panel and another little quick thing I want to show you when I do this uh, so these are the Bach side panels the slim side panels and if you remember in another video I talked about one of the problems with this is when you put on this slim side panel there's no more room for your toolkit the toolkit holder and the seat release holder so then your seat release cable just kind of dangles and there's no place to really put it uh, so let me show you I mentioned in that video when we did this that I was looking for a solution for that seat release holder. So I guess for now, I should, you could just tuck it in there, leave it dangling, but I'll have to see if there's a way to mount it, make it a little bit better. I came across this guy on one of the Royal Enfield Facebook groups and he makes this right here, a seat release holder. So if you do have to remove your tool kit and your seat release, he makes this little piece that simply bolts on here and then you connect your seat release. So it just goes on there and you get your seat release back. But for the battery, I am gonna have to remove this holder, but it is simply just two little bolts with an Allen key and then that comes off. Just that little piece there. So I took off this side, I'm gonna to have to take off the panel on the, on, on the other side so that way I can disconnect the negative, then come back here, disconnect the positive, and then it should just be a matter of removing this strap and the little bracket that holds the battery in place. Now I do have all this extra wiring in here for my dash cams on the motorcycle. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And as you can see here, it's simply this strap and a little piece right there. So we just come in here and need a long screwdriver to reach down in there. So we should be able to unscrew the negative. And I do have this extra little piece there that's for the dash cam that connects to the battery. So that comes off. I think you're supposed to disconnect this as well. I'm not sure. That's just what I've seen other people do. And then do the same for the positive. And the strap unhooks, and then we just have to remove that bracket. And it is a very long bolt for a little bracket. Well, that's it, just that bracket right there. And then it should just be a matter of sliding this battery out. So that is a pretty big, heavy battery. But here is the new lithium. pretty thick manual for that thing Allen key we have a spacer and here is the battery we also do have these other spacers so that way we can make it build the battery up to be the same size as this one because as you can see there is a pretty 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 big difference there and then as far as weight goes <laughs> it's a huge difference uh, let's see here we'll start off with grams so that's showing 
4,932 grams. Wow, over 10 pounds. 10 pounds, 13.7 ounces. Whereas if we put this one on, it's coming in at a very dainty two pounds, eight and a half ounces, which grams, it's 1,149 grams. Now also, I am curious as to what we're getting for reading on this battery here. And the thing is, I charge it, it just doesn't seem to be holding as strong. So right now it is showing, you can see, 12.36 on the multimeter, which is low. I believe it's supposed to be a minimum of 12.6 or 12.8 up to 13 point something. I don't remember, so I saw something in the manual about what it's supposed to be. Uh, but let's check this battery. Let's see if it comes completely charged. 13.32. So it's definitely holding more charge on this new battery. And now just to see what spacers we're going to need to get these things to match up. A little high. That seems to be perfect right there. So just two of the bigger ones lines it up. The challenge I am going to have on this battery is just the fact that it is, these are Allen key and I just don't have a long Allen key. So reaching in might be just a little tough to get in there and connect, but we'll see. And I guess while I have the battery out, it's a good time to clean inside here and also talk a little bit about the reason I mentioned why I wanted to do the lithium battery versus the stock battery. And it's due to the size. My plan is at some point to do an airbox delete in this bike where take everything out of here. Then you have to reconfigure everything to fit what is needed. And the battery being so big, usually you have to switch over to a much smaller lithium battery and fit it somewhere either up under here or down below. So it's hidden. Uh, I don't know when or if I'll ever do that, but I figure if I'm going to get a battery, might as well get the one that I'm going to need if it does come down to doing the airbox delete. Okay, and so much lighter. This is like a, doesn't even feel like a battery. It feels like an, just an empty box. And that should just fit right in there. Let me see. There we go. I'll put the uh, bracket and strap back on. Got that in there, and now we just need to reconnect, taking it off, it was negative, positive, put it back on as reverse, positive, negative. Okay. That there, and I can put seat release holder back on. And now I should be able to just put the side panel back on. That's the one thing about having these polished side panels is they get a lot of fingerprints. I got to take these off and just give them a real good polish. They do get scuffed up and fingerprints pretty easy. Okay. And this Allen key is actually long enough to reach down through there and get to it. So not a problem. Little cover back, reconnect this. Okay, so here we go, the moment of truth. Sounds good. Dash cam starting up. Bike is in neutral. Finally, get to go for a ride.